Hey guys, this is Gale Force Online. This is my first segment, what I call trash builds. These are ESO builds that are mainly just played for fun, not really used for score pushing or high end content. This build is a tank warden that does a fair bit of DPS, so it's fun to play around with. Now, it won't pass any of the DLC hard mode content or the vet hard mode trials. But most other content it will pass fairly easily. Now to start with the stats, this is on the front side unbuffed. Chuck some buffs on there. And this is what it looks like. So we got 46k max health, 27k max magico, which is good to use. And my resistance sits at about 31,500 on both physical and spell. Now the reason I keep it there is we healers usually run a minor ward and resolve which increases it to the 33k cap. Now on the back damage bar side a little like this. So nearly 30k max magicka, a little bit less health. But uh, my spell critical sits at about 33% and spell damage is nicely up. Resistances are not as much but it will get you mo through most trash mobs. Now for the food I just use basic magicka and health foods. Increase max magicka, increase max health. And I use immovable essence potions, which makes me immune to CCs for 8 seconds, um, restores magicka, and restores health, which is nice to use in a pinch. Now, race is Argonian, so whenever I use a potion, I also restore additional resources. Now, for gear setup, I run 5 pieces of Plague Doctor which gives me about 3000 extra health and few defensive increases. Um, this particular one has defending on it just to increase my resistance to where I need it to be. On the back bar I just run a lightning staff of Toric Pact. There are better staffs to use than this. So I just mainly used it to get that extra bit of spell damage and increase the damage of the weapon done. Now the reason I use Lightning Staff instead of an Ice Staff, Ice Staff animation looks really really good, but the Lightning Staff increases the damage done by my AOE damage over time abilities, which is nice to do. Now Monster Helm I use Ice Heart, even after the nerfs that have been done in the last patch, it's still a pretty good set to use on this build. Now whenever I deal critical damage, got a 20% chance of it to proc. And since I'm using AoE on multiple targets, very easy to get a critical off. Now this one gives me a damage shield about 5k, but it also does additional damage of 750 frost damage to enemies in the area. Now my second set that I'm running is Twice Born Star. Well firstly it's a craftable set and it makes me allows me to use two Mundestones. So I use max health and max magicka. And the other reason I use it is because I can craft it so I can make it different armor types. So my waist I run at light and my braces I run at medium. Just because that way I proc the undaunted 6% boost to my um, main resources. And it's the minimum amount of resistance loss using those two. Now, moving on to skills. On the front bar, I use Inner Beast, the undaunted taunt at range. The reason I use it is that any enemy I taunt takes 4% additional damage from my attacks. And also I run it at stamina, because if I run Jord on Magicka and I need to have a taunt off, it is a resource pool that I haven't tapped. The second one is Ice Fortress, for obvious reasons, it increases my spell and physical resistance and also gives me minor protection. The third one is a bit of a flex spot, there's plenty of skills you can put in there. I just use Elemental Drain in order to reduce the spell resistance to the target and also a bit of Magicka Steel 
for resource management. The fourth one is the blue betty. So restore some of magicka as well for resource management, uh, increases my weapon and spell damage, and also removes one negative effect every five seconds. The heal that I use on this one is uh, Polar Wind, and it does a very nice heal over time, but also pumps out a bit of damage at the same time as AoE damage, and also I can heal a target that's at low health with me. The last one is Northern Storm, basically it does do a bit of AoE damage, but it gives me major protection, so if a bit of a pinch is a good one to pop off to save. On the back bar, first skill I use is Unstable Wall of Storms, it's an AoE skill that sets enemies off balance, uh, any off balance enemy takes additional damage from your group, so it's nice utility skill to have. Second one is Gripping Shards, AoE skill that does frost damage and also works as a CC, so easy to control mobs, but this skill increases damage based on your max health, so it's a nice skill to have as a tank. Third one I use is Storm Pulsar. This increases, this reduces the target's max health by 10%, so it's nice to use in trash mobs just to reduce their health and to kill them quicker and also does a bit of area shock damage. This fourth slot here is a bit of a flex spot. Um, I chuck in a light in there just because it increases my um, spell critical and also increases my max magicka by 5% and additional 2% for the minor buff in the major skill skill line. And then polar wind again and this time I don't really much use it as a heal but more as a damage skill which does the AoE frost damage as it did before. My ultimate I use is Ice Comet and this skill is the ultimate in the major skill skill line. Um, on impact it does a nice bit of frost damage there and also reduces the movement speed of the target and after the impact does additional damage over 13 seconds which works out really well. Now, demonstration on the front bar, reduces them down, increases the magic power, extra resistance, taunts, and thrust start of the enhanced for taunts as well. On the back bar, CC to hold them in place, Omen Storm does extra damage, and Pulsar which reduces his max health by 10%. I also pop all the wind here now and then just to increase the uh, damage output and because it's AoE damage critical proc very easily so I do additional damage based on my monster health set. So guys let me know if you like this content, like and subscribe down below, anything we should say just let me know in the comments.